Hi, this is Rob. And this is Renee. We're going to be talking about the Proctor Silex Extra Tall Can Opener today. There's Renee getting it out of the Amazon box. It came about right on time, didn't it? About the time we ordered it. Right on time. And there's Renee doing the unboxing. It was in good shape. Absolutely ready to use. Now we're not saying that this is the best can opener for you. This is the only one we have. This is the one we tested. You might try some other ones and get just as good results. All we're saying is we bought it about 30 days ago. We've been using it and it works just fine. And so we like to share our findings. Okay. This is a lightweight can opener, so it, it might scoot around your counter a little bit if you push it. Okay, it's 2.2 pounds. Uh, I don't think, we didn't try the knife sharpener, did we, Renee? No, no we're we are not didn't. interested in that feature. Uh, the cord storage was, well, a little bit of a problem, but we'll tell you about that later. Okay, here's Renee opening a can. It says you're, it'll grab it first time every time. It just depends on how you are in getting it lined up. It's important to make sure that the blade is right in the can. If not, it's going to stall and you're going to have to start again. It's also a good idea if you're having extra moment to just remove the paper. Most of the time it will yeah. open it without, oh, yeah. but okay. every once yeah. in a while it will give you a little problem. Okay, now the knife sharpener and the, and we're going to detach the cutting blade. Renee's going to show you where the knife sharpener is. Unfortunately, we didn't actually try it. It's right there on the bottom when you see the indentation. Now Renee will detach the uh, cutting blade. I guess you push that button, Renee? Yes, that's the big thing. You push the button and pull, and it comes right out. And now Renee is showing you the cutting blade. And then this is another close-up of just the cutting blade. Okay, now Renee is Renee re replacing the cutting blade. Uh, it took a little extra snap and push it, but it actually went in with pretty good action, didn't it, Renee? Yes, once again, you just push that same button and it goes right in. Okay, like I said, the cord storage was not really practical. We, it wasn't worth it for us. Otherwise, uh, we would recommend this can opener based on our experience.